Half of video is audio. We've been talking a lot about how to capture great image, but you need to also capture great sound. This is one of the things that you can use for that. We're going to go over that in a little bit here on HDSLR 101. This episode is made possible by CPM Film Tools, your lightweight solution for caging the beast. LCD Viewfinder, the essential accessory for DSLR video. Lightcraft Workshop, the perfect tools to create the perfect image. Manhattan LCD, the affordable solution for high definition monitoring. GZCam.com, your source for gear reviews, do-it-yourself video, and photography projects. Linco Lighting, professional lighting for photo and video. Hi, this is Tony Rialli from NextWaveDV.com and today we're going to be talking about sound on HDSLRs. Uh, there's obviously several different routes that you can do, go with. Starting off, most HDSLRs will record sound right on board. They'll have a small little microphone port and it'll record just basic sound. Now obviously this isn't very good. This is okay if you want to get just basic like web clips or something like that. But if you're trying to record good audio, you might want to move up to actually getting a good microphone. Now the first step would be to get a small little shotgun mic like we have here. This is the Asden microphone and it is essentially a shotgun microphone uh, and you can attach it to uh, your camera hot shoe like we have right here. Um, they also, the Rode makes a video mic series which you might want to look at, uh, but this just plugs right into the audio input of your HDSLR. Some HDSLRs don't have audio inputs, so this may not be an option for you, um, but you're going to get okay audio from this. This will improve, but you're not going to get fantastic audio. Um, your, your next step would be possibly to get like a Beach Tap or Juice Beach Tech or Juiced Link adapter, and this allows you to plug in XLR microphones into it. Um, again, as we talked about previously, the bitrate recording on the HDSLR may not be good enough for recording good quality sound. So you may want to look at getting a device to record sound separately. One such popular device for recording audio with HDSLRs is the Zoom H4n. This uh, is very popular because it records to SD memory cards at 48 kilohertz and it has XLR and quarter inch inputs, which is very common in most professional microphones. Uh, the one additional step that you're going to have to take though is syncing your audio from the SD memory card on here to the footage that you captured with your HDSLR, which we will show you in our post-production episodes. Now when choosing microphones to record to, it's important to make sure that you have the right mic for the right situation. Here we're using, this is a lavalier microphone, and it's the same thing that we're using right here for recording the audio. These are great for interviews, uh, for uh, when you're trying to be discreet and when this, the talent is farther away from the camera, then a shotgun microphone might be useful. Um, but again, these are kind of, they can be seen by the camera. Um, and they are, they're fine for interviews, but if you're doing a narrative where you don't want the microphone to be seen, it can be an issue. Um, you can attach the microphone below fabric, but the fabric may rub against the microphone and cause a static or you know, a, an, an, a sound that may, you may not want to be able to use. So make sure that you're using lavaliers in the proper situation. Now one mic that you definitely want to have on set is a shotgun microphone. These are great because they're very directional. They capture sound that's in front of them and not sound that's to the side or behind them. Uh, you can use omnidirectional mics, but again, these ne don't necessarily have the same range as a shotgun and they can often pick ambient noise that you may not want. The basics of a shotgun mic are very simple. You've got a very long microphone that is designed specifically for capturing noise or audio that's in front of it. Um, <clears throat> the shotguns can vary in size. This is a Sennheiser. This is a very expensive microphone, a couple grand. Um, but you can pick up shotgun mics from Rode for a couple hundred dollars just to get started um, and they can still produce great sound. Uh, one of the differences though, you add 500 to thousand dollars per microphone and you'll be able to get a lot more clarity um, it'll be less bassy and, and stuff like that. But again, depending on your production, that may not be a big issue. Slates are a really great tool to have on set. Um, obviously, they can be useful for marking which take you're at, what the clip is. But also, when you have that snap, it gives you a marker point for syncing your audio. So when you're using an external recording device like the Zoom, you're able to sync up your audio very easily by just finding that large, that loud clap sound and syncing that from your video to the audio on your Zoom. 
Well, we hope that you found that helpful and that you can learn that sound is very important and there's lots of tools that can help you get started with that. Be sure to check out our other episodes of HDSLR 101 on nextwavedv.com. And if you want to see the entire series before it's available online, you can download it from our store by clicking on the product section and going to HDSLR 101, and it's available for only $20. And we appreciate everybody that's purchasing it because that helps us continue to provide these free resources for you, such as our Next Wave TV series, Cinetips, and our other online resources. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.